Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Medieval. Last time, we completed um, Cemetery Hill, I believe, if the controller would work. There we go, Cemetery Hill. Yes, and we obtained our second chalice, and we got another life file from Candy Tim. Now it is time to go to the Hilltop Mausoleum. Let's go. This is probably uh, one of my favorite levels. It's got my favorite boss for sure. If you uh, if you saw the 100 subscriber special, you probably already know what this level is like. Because I will be showing you it again! You are entering a house of pain. Rumors are bound of the evil doings in the secret catacombs below this very hall. Ah uh, yes, this is the level with imps. I hate imps. Oh, so much fun. However, let's get smashing. He's in these side crypts here. Oh jeez, yes, there are imps, but there's also money and such. It's quite wise to smash these. Some of them, like one of them I believe has the uh, hidden passage kind of place, which we'll need to get into in a bit. But for now, we should smash all of them. Take that, you stupid imp. Smash into a bulb. Hate imps. Anything in here? Yep, energy vial. I don't know if the imps hide anything. As you can see, that one crypt over on the uh, the right, it was kind of glowing. Um, probably hinting that, you know, we should probably go that way. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, just maybe. Ow, I, I think he just burnt me. What a meanie. Um, what do we have in here? Ah, another club. I guess that's if you, uh, you break your first, like, the one that you have when you enter the level. Get out of here, we need imps. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness we're, we're, we're already like 25% through the level. Like, with the chalice? That's pretty good right there. Ah, welcome to the secret catacomb place, I guess. Full of stained glass walls, my goodness. Watch out for the sticky fingered imps. These thieves will strip you down to your armored undies. Do people wear armored undies? Like, steel underwear? I've never really thought of I've never really taken the time to think of that. Oh my. Okay, so let's get down here. Um, there's a reason why I like to smash all the stained glass later on. Um, well, if you saw the 100 subscriber special, you would know that the uh, the floor collapses. So it's kind of good to have all this smashed out of the way firsthand, just so you don't get cut up on the way back, because it can be quite annoying trying to dodge all of the stained glass. Oh my goodness! At least they drop you off here if you fall into the pit, so that's kind of nice. Um, what do we have here? Uh, another imp. Man, these guys, they're st they go down quite fast. I never really noticed. Um, can I open this? No. Need an earth rune. Well, it looks like we'll have to go down the left passage. Hopefully I have enough, like, enough of this club left to smash the rest of the, uh, what is it called? Stained glass floor. Who makes stained glass spikes and puts them in the middle of their floor? I mean... That's kind of dangerous. If you want to roam these underground secret catacomby halls and do your secret evil doings and stuff, why would you put stained glass all over the floor? You're going to, like, break your feet. Not break them, but tear them up. Gosh. Use logic. I don't know. I'm questioning video game logic again. It doesn't usually work that way. Is that all the imps? Are you done? Awesome. Let's get the earth room and, uh... Run like heck. Run. Daniel Fortescue, get going. Thank you. Okay, it's you can easily outrun it. See, that's not even that hard. We're already back here. But uh, I don't advise going back through that passageway because uh, it kind of collapsed. <laughs> not a good place to return to. Anyway, let's head on back up here. Now we can exit. Not, now we can exit that part of the catacombs and come in here. Oh gosh, these imps, these imps actually have, like, the imps have holes in the wall, and they will, they will come and attack you, and then run back into the hole with, like, if they take your stuff, they'll run into the hole in the wall, and you have to rebuy your items, because they'll take them away from you. It's horrible. I hate it. That's why I hate imps. It, it, like, I think you want to be careful of the ones without, like, anything in their hand, because I think those are the ones that take stuff from you. Yeah, you took my sword. Stop it. I'm totally gonna... I'm gonna get you. Eat this, sucker. Give me my sword back. Thanks. My gosh, hate imps. The stained glass demon is the master of the mausoleum. 
His wretched soul lies preserved inside a frozen glass heart. Shrouded in a veil of darkness beneath the mausoleum, you will find this pre-frozen menace. Ah. So, I guess that kind of explains the, uh, the stained glass demon. Like, at first I kind of just thought he was a demon that lived in the glass, but really? You're the one who frees him. You free his soul from the... Like, in order to fight him, you must free his soul from underneath the, uh, the mausoleum. So, is it your fault that he kind of rampages? Well, I guess you have to do it to, uh, to exit the place. So, and it's a, another, like, evil demon that you need to take down, so I guess it's, it's pretty good that you're doing that. Um, who's this guy? Let's speak to him. Hey there, sir. You look kind of upset. Okay, he won't talk to me. Uh, let's take that chaos rune and read the book. Oh my goodness, there we go. The would-be phantom of the opera longs to play a new tune, but he seems doomed to repeat the same chords of despair over and over. Well, that stinks, man. I, pl I play piano, I know what you're feeling. Except I don't play the same chords. I play uh, entire songs, <laughs> not just the same music repeated over and over again. Well, actually, I repeat, I repeat, I repetitively play parts of a song in order to learn it. That's kind of a good way to learn music. Just re if if there's something you're stuck on on like in the piece you're playing, just play it over and over and over again and gradually get better. That's that's what I do. Okay, so chaos rune, and it's time to go unleash a demon. Who's excited? I'm pretty sure I am. And wow, that giant that giant like slab of stone. That is really, really easy to push. That is like... It's like foam. My gosh, that pushes fast. You wouldn't think a zombie... Not a zombie. You wouldn't think like a skeleton's that strong because he has no muscle mass. He's just kind of... Dead. Just bones. Bones and armor. Ah, oh, look at the pretty fairies that we, re that we released. Pretty, pretty fairies. Demon fairies. And more throwing daggers. Um, what's over here? I wonder, can I get the chalice yet? I'm not entirely sure. I'll try and go get it. I think we can. We took out as many imps as we could, I'm pretty sure. I think we took out all the imps, so... We might be able to. I don't think you have to fight the demon in order to, uh... To get the chalice. But you do want to, uh... You do want to get to the room with the chalice this way. Because if you run across the center of the room, the, uh, the demon will attack you, and it kind of stinks. Um, hey there, sir. I have something for you. Let me give it to you. I have... a moon rune? What the heck do I use this for? <laughs> but yeah, I have a, uh, an arm. No, not an arm. I want to give you... Oh, I haven't gotten what I need to get yet. Duh. I haven't used the moon rune yet. Sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm not paying attention. We need to head down this way. And... Oh, crap. Okay, thieves, they're not thieves, uh, imps are still alive. But uh, yeah, we need to head this way, I can't believe I forgot, there's one more path to take. We, t we didn't take this path here. The one with the, oh no, that's the earth rune. That one, that one stays up, because you kind of need it to progress. Okay, so uh, let's go moon rune here. Stick that there. This is where we get what we're looking for. See that over there in the other uh, corner -ish on the left? That would be the, uh, that would be a sheet of music. We need to get that for the phantom, dude. So he won't be all depressed and stuff. Don't take my sword. Hate imps. My gosh, they need to get out of here. Ow. Gosh, they're really, really annoying. These are like the most annoying enemy in the game. I swear I hate them. Oh my gosh. Okay. Run, Dan. Come on. Let's not get crushed. Oh, I thought I was going to fall down there. I was having a little trouble getting going. There we go. And time to just head back up this way. I've got to make sure not to fight the glass demon though. If you do, you have to recom you have to come right back into the level and you have to go back and visit the uh the phantom dude. I'm not sure if you have to recollect the uh the music. You might not have to, but still you don't I don't want to repeat st like this entire level. I would prefer not to. Hey there, Phantom Dude, guess what I got for you? I have sheet music. I have sheet music. There we go. And look, he's happy. <laughs> oh, 
awesome! Look, he's so happy, and he was able... Since he's happy, he was able to leave. He, We freed him from his never-ending torment. We're good people, aren't we? Um, we're not going to want the sword for the next fight. We want the crossbow. And we got the chalice, so we can start this now. This is my probably my favorite boss in the game. I find him extremely creepy. The demon's heart is his only vulnerable point. Okay, yeah, this I have to remember how to jump. Jumping is important here. And this is why the crossbow is so helpful. You can get you can get like so many hits on this guy while he's charging up before he starts firing stained glass at you like a crazy nut job. Oh my goodness. This boss is really, really cool. Um, he's creepy though. He's really freaky. But all of, his, all of his attacks are just really cool and I love the theme. The giant stained glass demon that shoots like glass at you. I don't know why that happens though. I really hate this attack. It's really, really obnoxious and I don't know how to avoid it. You might just be you might be able to dodge it though. But I tend to just fire at him until he finishes his uh, or until he begins his attack actually. Because this is like charging up here. But uh, as you can see with the crossbow, he is easily defeated. Doesn't take too long. And there he goes, smashed into bits. What could this be? The Skull Key! Awesome! I suppose this goes to the, uh, the giant door in the graveyard. In fact, it does go to the giant door in the graveyard. We're finally able to leave the graveyard. It's the Hall of Heroes shopping mall. Bargain hunters should check out the ground floor. Well-to-do shoppers should check out the upper floor. That's where it's at. Did people in the medieval ages really call it a shopping mall? I think they would have called it a market or something like that. This is out of context, it makes no sense. Video game logic, once again, I questioned it. I, I think I'm breaking some unwritten law of video game logic. Ah, Fortescue! What's this I hear about that Archcad Zarog still being alive? Thought you killed the fella! <laughs> Never mind, you old warhorse! Better show him what's what, eh? I expect Johnny Zombie's a bit more of a handful than you remember. How are you doing for weapons? <laughs> Here, take my war hammer. It'll smash anything and it won't fall apart like a club. I only ever get to use it cracking walnuts around this place. Of course I'll accept. Nonsense, Fortescue! I won't take no for an answer! Knock a few heads for old stand your iron cure, eh? This thing is awesome. I love the hammer. This, it's like a club, and it deals damage like a club. I think it might deal more, but I'm not entirely sure. But seriously, this thing is awesome. It's just an unbreakable club. And it does a lot of damage. It is a little bit slower, but it is a great power weapon in the game. It can be really, really handy. And thank goodness it doesn't break. That's just the best part about it. No smashing to bits. Let's head back to the... Or let's leave the Hall of Heroes. Let's head to the Hall of Heroes, even though we're already in the building. <laughs> that makes no sense. Ah, yes. I guess it's uh, time to return to the graveyard. We'll need to uh, leave the graveyard, actually. We've finally done, like, everything we could do here, I guess. Well, except for the final graveyard level, which is down there. Save successful. Thank you. Now let's uh, get on down there, if the controller would work. There we go. Gosh. Move! Ugh. There we go. Okay, so uh, yes, I believe in the next episode of Let's Play Medieval, 
we will begin Return to the Graveyard. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye.